This story is not going away. Ted Nugent is again bashing school shooting survivors. It's one of the top trending stories on Twitter. The singer and NRA board member is continuing his criticism of David Hogg, doubling down on comments he made about previous about previously. Listen to what Nugent said on the Curtis and Cosby radio show. I don't have anything to say to David Hogg. This guy is a lost cause, and he is part of the problem, not the solution. He could have been a positive force. Now he's gone off on a, on a tangent, failing to put focus on meaningful solutions. All right. I know you guys are fired up about this. Oh. Tori, let's kick it off here. Um, I, I, you know, it's interesting. I, I, I sort of want to go to you first, but I spoke to Ryan Deitch. He's a Parkland shooting survivor, and he said, guess what? We did put ourselves in front of the camera. We are now public people. So they've announced that. What he said was that it was just plain rude. He wasn't addressing Laura Ingram. He was just discussing himself on Twitter. So what I don't understand is why these guys who are supposed to be adults in the matter are coming after kids who've never gone after them. Well, what happened here was these kids in Parkland, of course, they are tragedy survivors, and that's horrible and sad. But they are putting themselves in an adult arena covering a very contentious adult topic, which is the Second Amendment, the NRA, And they seem to be control. aware of that. They know but that But when you're there. doing that, you have to be fully prepared for the backlash. And by the way, I am an NRA member, and I have shot guns in the past, so this is a topic that I also... There you are, very, right? There's that's me you. doing both. I am very passionate about both subjects, and I listen to the whole Ted Nugent tape of the radio well, show. Well, just, just to make sure, David Hogg is also, he has guns and also shoots, so he's not trying to get rid of the Second Amendment. I just want to make he's it clear. Taking an, he is taking on the NRA, which is a powerful, mighty, and long-standing organization, and when you are going to start even speaking on these topics, you've got to giddy up and buckle your seatbelt because these are very difficult topics. But back to Ted Nugent. What he said was, David Hogg could have been, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit, could have been a voice for change. But instead, he called all NRA members child killers. He could have done that in a much more positive way. That's no way to effectuate change. He just lost his platform right there. Is, there a, is that a direct quote? I, what did called? I say? I said I was paraphrasing. Okay, because when you say that someone calls someone child killers, I think that we no, should. That's what he said, the child okay, killers, so but that direct, was the... Direct quote. Okay, so my issue is this wasn't, um, a, this wasn't about politics at all. It was about a very personal thing, which was him getting into college. That's how this all started. And I don't want to lose sight of that because I think that that's very important. This stems from the Laura Ingram um, backlash because she personally attacked a child. This is the thing. I understand what you're saying about getting into the NRA and all of that. But at the end of the day, me as an adult, I don't spar with children. Because when you spar with children, then that means that whatever's happening and whatever they're talking about, you're now telling them that they're on your level. So what I'm saying to them, the Parkland survivors, is congratulations. You've officially become a big boy. Because for any adult to stop down and address a child in such a way means that they are threatened. It almost goes back to the basis of the idea that you aren't doing anything important if you aren't pissing people off and they've pissed off people and we're hearing about it and I say good for them. Let's